In this video from Device Doctor, we're going to show you how to convert your Epson 8C5U5 printer from dye ink to sublimation ink. Sublimation is a special type of printing used for materials like fabric, mugs, phone cases, and even glassware. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. Let's get started and convert this printer to sublimation. We have six sublimation ink colors here, but first, we need to completely remove the dye ink from the printer. Once that's done, we'll replace it with the sublimation ink. For this process, you'll need a 50cc syringe and a plastic serum hose, both of which are easily available at any pharmacy. Now we need to remove the printer's maintenance box to access the ink tubes. Now, as you can see, you can easily insert the hose into the tube where the waste ink is drained. Now we'll use the syringe to extract the ink and dispose of it into an unused container. We'll continue doing this until the ink is completely emptied from the tanks. This process may take 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the amount of ink in the printer's tanks. So it's best to be patient and proceed carefully. Make sure that the ink doesn't spill from the syringe or hose into the printer during this process. Close the caps of the tanks that have been emptied to prevent air from entering the syringe. This will make it easier to empty the remaining tanks. Now, place the waste box back in its position and perform a manual nozzle check to ensure that the print on paper is completely blank. When the printer is turned off, press and hold the cancel and power buttons simultaneously for 10 seconds to initiate the nozzle test print. As you can see in the nozzle test, Yellow ink is still present in the tank and the printer head. We'll use the syringe again to continue the process until the yellow ink is completely removed and the paper prints out blank.
Now, we'll print the nozzle check again to see if the paper comes out completely blank. Now you can see that the paper is completely blank. This means we can now fill the printer tanks with sublimation ink. Unfortunately, the caps of our ink bottles don't match the openings of the Epson 8050 printer's tanks. But don't worry, to solve this issue, you can use a special bottle cap designed for this printer, making it easy to pour the sublimation ink into the tanks. Look how easily we're filling the tanks with sublimation ink using the special cap made for the Epson 8050. We fill each ink tank with its corresponding color, one by one. Look at the yellow ink, it's filling its tank perfectly. Now we're pouring the last color, black, into its tank. Make sure to clean the special cap thoroughly after filling each color before using it for the next one.
After filling all the tanks with ink, use the syringe again to draw the ink through. This ensures that the ink flows properly into the printer's ink tubes. Of course, this time just perform this process once. Of course, this time just perform this process once. Now, place the waste box back in its position, turn on the printer, and run a cleaning cycle once. Press and hold the printer's cancel button for five seconds to activate the cleaning mode. The cleaning process takes about three to five minutes to complete. Now that the cleaning process is complete, turn off the printer and print the nozzle test again. As explained earlier, when the printer is off, simply press and hold the cancel and power buttons together for 10 seconds to print the nozzle test. Look how perfectly the printer has been converted into a sublimation printer. Just run the cleaning process once or twice more to ensure the ink is fully loaded and any excess is cleared. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. Goodbye.